Thank you, ma'am. And thank you, organizing committee and all the speakers for sharing such a wonderful uh, study. And uh, many of the things which we are covering are covered, so I will not take much time. And the session was very enlightening. So I'll be speaking on the landscape of actionable alterations using uh, targeted next generation sequencing on uh, lung cancers and sharing few of our, our uh, initial data on uh, a small subset of cases analyzed. So we all know that lung cancer takes so many lives just because uh, two important regions that the incidence of lung cancer is highest among all solid cancers, latest stage of diagnosis and the poor survival rate and which is specifically even very less in stage 4 cancers. This is a timeline for the FDA targeted therapy introduced in lung cancers. I will not take much time. And uh, with the identification of actionable targets and development of uh, various targeted therapy, we have now seen that the it has improved the progression-free survival and overall survival. Like now all has said, Dr. Trupti said also, what is the need of the time? Need of the time is NGS. Larger panels are there, but the TAT is high, the cost is high, affordability is limited. So we introduced the K50 Oncomine Precision Assay, which covers the 50 important hotspot genes, which covers major hotspot targets, CNVs and gene fusions and this panel covers most of the actionable targets currently available for the lung cancer. In addition, we have various other tumor suppressor genes which provides information on the prognostic effect of currently existing therapies and we have validated this assay as per the CAP and AMP guidelines. So I would just, uh, in interest of time, share data on the total of 203 cases of lung. Majority of them were metastatic and NSCLC subtype. So this is the entire landscape of the variants which were seen, including SNVs, major fusions, and uh, CNVs of ERBB, ER, EZFR, etc. Most interesting observation was the EZFR was the topmost altered gene. The frequency of EZFR alteration was 40% in this subset, which is compared to the TCG and Western studies a quite higher. When we looked at the smoker and non-smoker profile, the frequency of EZFR was almost double, which corroborates with the previous reports. Second thing, as Madam talked about the genetic alteration, we found that uh, after EZFR, P3 was the most altered alteration and there are various studies which also says that there is a prognostic uh, negative effect of the presence of P3 alteration. Our finding of EZFR higher frequency in this subset and the Indian population is similar to the reports from the Asian studies where we see almost in Korea, Japan and China, it has been reported from more than 30% to 40%. Focusing just EZFR, in this subset we found 23 different variants of EZFR, which are listed here. The classical one remains the EZFR exon 19 deletion and L858R. When we compare this data, that what are these, uh, what are the frequency of the important canonical variants? Listed here, the EZFR most important exon 19 deletion variant E746, A750 deletion, L858R, and the other four EZFR variants like uh, G719, T790, and other EZFR exon 19 deletion, the combined frequency was 31% which is comparable to the previous reports from TMH from Dr. Anuradha Chogle, Dr. Chandrani and Dr. Vanita. So a study has a similar observation and just to summarize, uh, put together the, all the EZFR variants in the present study in this pie chart, the classical ones reported in the literature, the EZFR exon 19 and l 5 eta comprise more than 50%. The other canonical ones are these and if we see interestingly the 
रेयर वेरिएंट्स दिस कॉम्प्राइज ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी एट परसेंट ऑफ द इज एफ आर वेरियंट्स एंड वी हैव सीन इन द लिटरेचर दैट दीज वेरियंट्स डजेंट हैव द सिमिलर रिस्पॉन्स टू करेंटली अवेलेबल इज एफ आर टे के आई सो जस्ट टू इम्फेसाइज हियर आई वुड एंड विद दिस दैट द लार्ज स्केल जीनोमिक सिक्वेंसी प्लेटफॉर्म्स इज लीडिंग टू द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ मेनी रेयर वेरियंट्स एंड ओपनिंग द एवेन्यू फॉर प्रिसीजन मेडिसिन एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ नोबल टारगेटेड थेरापीज I would like to thank all the technicians who have participated in the study and the Karkinos team.